Man, I'm excited about this video today. It's a beautiful day here in Southeast Alabama. I mean, I couldn't imagine a more perfect day for anything outdoors and beekeeping included. Today, we're gonna to go through these splits that we made three weeks ago and see what the queen uh, acceptance rate was. Have no idea what to expect. If you wanna see how I split them, uh, I'm gonna put a, a tag up here on this video so you can watch it here and uh, how we did that. And then today, of course, is the follow-up video for that. So the smoker's lit. I'm gonna put on my veil and get started. So my goal today is to find the queens. I'm gonna mark them. I just use a little painter's marker from Walmart. Uh, they work great. It's a, uh, it says opaque paint marker. I think it's an acrylic marker, but I used this last year and they work really well. Just a little basic thing. I think they're, they're pretty cheap at Walmart. They don't cost a whole lot. When I was walking up, I saw, well, I see some little bees come in right now with pollen. So to me, that's a good sign. And maybe they're going to work. Maybe they got them a little queen in there. She's doing her thing. We got it glued down pretty good. God, one always stung me. Shoot. Oh, girls. Uh, we see a fair number of bees here. These bees are really doing their job. You got honey up here, pollen in here, nectar at the bottom. So this is definitely a food frame. The bees seem really calm and happy so far. And we have brood, larva there. I'll just flip it over. We got eggs in almost every cell on through here. This little nuke right here is doing great. Man, look at that. Look at that breed pattern right there. This queen is killing it. Now my goal is to find her marker, but I don't spend a whole lot of time doing that. For some reason, I just kind of have a difficult time finding the queen lots of times. And whenever I do see her, I'll keep my pen handy and marker. Hopefully it'll be today, but there she is. Right here. I hope you can see her. So I had a big, she looks like a real young queen. She's not really big yet, but she'll grow into a bigger queen as time goes on. Right here. So I'm going to set this frame. Oh, she's trying to go through. She went through the other side. Give her a second over there. There she is. Okay, so I got my marker here. Ah, she's playing keep away. She's shy. Where'd she go? So the way I mark them, it's gonna be hard for you to see this is, I very gently, a lot of people like to use little cages and stuff, but I've found it to work out just fine like this. I very gently hold them down Very gently paint their little thorax there. Now, sometimes they'll play like they're dead. See right here? She got it, went right back to work. She's not gonna play around. Uh, 2021, the color is white. So she's ready to go. Man, I am so excited about that. We are one for one. It's a good way to start off the morning. If I'm going around in these splits and some of them don't look quite as strong, I may switch some frames of brood around and kind of strengthen some other colonies. Okay, here's the nuke right next to the other one we just went through. Population this hive, I can tell already, is not near as much. A few bees right there. It's like a different story here. I'm not sure we even have success here. Okay, next frame over's got more bees on it. So the way these splits work out, sometimes they just, some will just end up with more bees than the others. It's probably my fault, I'm not sure, but... All right, now this queen's been a little more, she's been a little more uh, hesitant. There she is right there. Now she is a beautiful dark queen. She's right here. She's, she's kind of small, actually. We'll see how she turns out. She's starting to lay, so maybe she'll get fatter as time goes on but she's just kind of a little tiny thing she is long and slender though 
which means she's made it. Plus, I do see some eggs in there. Let's see if I can get her marked. She, I'm kind of surprised I could see her. She's so tiny. She is not wanting to be messed with. All right. She's going to play a little bit weird. She's going to make like she's hurt. There she goes. Now she's taking off a little bit. Okay, so two for two success. We'd like to have seen her a little bigger and fatter, but let's take out one more frame and just see if it looks like she's laying a steady pattern. We have some drone brood up here. That may have been in there when we made the split. Uh, we'll have to keep a watch on this one. I'm not sure how good this one's going to be. Queen is pretty small, just starting to lay, but you never know. There is some food in here. They've been bringing in some food. There's some honey in here, a little bit of nectar. Yeah, we definitely got, we definitely got eggs and a little bit of brood just starting up through here. So we'll see what happens. And we'll just let them do their thing. All right, got a little situation here. This is the third nuke that I went through and I didn't see any eggs, no larva. I didn't see a queen. Uh, although the comb in the middle of the uh, nuke was dry, uh, kind of how it looks like when they prepare it uh, for a, a queen to start laying. But I thought I would just uh, be proactive on this. I went up to the first little nuke we went through up there. I pulled a frame that had eggs, larva, and brood on it and brought it down here. The bees seem really happy. If you look at them, I don't know if you can tell very well, but they are fanning. They just seem much happier now that I put this in here. And so I think it was the right thing to do. If they don't have a queen, then they'll hopefully be able to utilize some of the eggs or larvae and make queen cells, almost like a walkaway split. Just put it in here a few minutes ago. And hopefully we'll be able to salvage this split. If there is a little queen in there that's about ready to lay, then it'll just give them a little boost. And so we're good either way. This snook right here is pretty weak. Not a lot of bees. And I know they have brought in some pollen. There's a little nectar in here. And I thought I saw just a very few eggs, but I cannot find the queen, so... What I plan to do is, as I go through these, hope that I can find a good strong one, like the one that we saw up there, and then put a frame of brood slash eggs in this one, in case they need to requeen or just to help give them a boost. And so far, we're three for five on confirmed queens. At first glance, this one looks pretty good, but we'll see what we got. I also noticed some mites on a bee or two in that little nuke right there so I'm probably going to just hit these nukes with some oxalic acid before I leave today. That is actually a perfect time to do it because you're just getting established, not a lot of brood in the hives. I should be able to knock them back pretty good. I think we have us a good little nuke here. Let me see if I see some eggs. This time of the morning with the shadows it's kind of hard to see. I went out there where the sun is better and there are definitely some eggs. On this frame, she's just starting to lay right through here. This might be a good little colony to pull a frame from and put over there. I'm seeing three pretty solid frames of bees in here. Yeah, all kinds of little bees of pollen on their legs. Looks like this queen is just starting to lay. <clears throat> this frame right here has a bunch of uh, what I call milk brood in here. Brand new larva that's hatched. Got a bunch of eggs in almost every cell. We got us a little queen in here somewhere. Oh, no. Ah, she got me. She's still trying to get me some more even though she already got me. She's determined. You already got me, B. Can't sting me again. Oh yeah, very nice. Let's scan and see if I can find the queen here. And I'm going to take one of these frames and put it over there. I think we'll be fine doing that. I kind of have a hard time finding the queen. And one of my viewers suggested I kind of scan like I'm reading a book. I've tried a little bit. It seems to help. Just kind of scan from side to side. 
Another suggestion a guy gave me one time, or I've heard it at least once, if not more, is to hold the frames at an angle like this. Sometimes if, if the queen's on that frame, you'll see her abdomen is so much bigger, it'll kind of, you'll see it bouncing around on there. And that, that works too. You can also look down as you're pulling the frames out in the, inside the box sometimes, and you'll see her walking around. I think I'm just going to take this frame right here. It's got a little bit of everything on it. It doesn't really have any capped brood yet, but it's got eggs and larvae in it. And just give that to the neighbors over there. It's also got a little food around the edges. So I think it'll help them maybe get established. Maybe if uh, they could go ahead and make a, a new queen out of it, that would be great. This will give them a chance. Come back in a week, this thing's going to be full of cat brood. Don't know where Queenie is though, sometimes they just hide from me. Yeah, I'm fine, I'm, I'm very confident the Queen is in here. There she is. Big old yellow tail, I found her. She was hiding right down there in the corner. She's shy. Beautiful little Queen though. She's still one of, she's one of those young ones, she's not super big yet, but she's got a... Oops, she got away from me. Oh, little girl. She is not excited about this. Okay, yeah, she's not shy either. She just went right back to moving. So really, you just kind of got to try things. I think this little nook is in great shape. And the one next door, we'll just have to see what happens. So kind of my little system to know what's going on is i've been putting the brick like this if i've got a queen in there and she's marked and on this one i'm going to put the the brick like this that means i'm not sure what's going to happen we're going to give these bees right here two to three weeks and check back and see what we have who knows i'm going to do my best to just hold the camera as i do this Open up this split right here and it's full of brood. We got queen cells on at least a couple of the frames. So let me show you what we got here. Not a ton of bees, but man, there's a lot of brood. Trying to be super careful. Haven't seen the queen, although I did see some eggs. So I think these bees are preparing to swarm. I don't know if on this split I accidentally happened to get the original queen out of there or if this queen just got mated really fast and got busy. Could have had a lot of brood, could have had a lot of eggs in the original split, I just don't remember. But if you look right here, you'll see there's a couple of queen cells. One right here, and one right here. So I'm just going to take these bees right here, and drop them in another nuke. Just make a simple split here. Put two frames of bees and brood in here. See what we got on here. I think this is the one. Yeah, this is just another frame of brood and bees. No queen cells on this frame that I can see. This frame right here also has some brood and some queen cells on it. I'm trying to do this all by hand. See right here? Got a queen cell or two right here the bees are tending to. There's one down here. Not sure how healthy that is. So I'm going to leave this one behind. In essence, we're doing a walk away split, but we know we've already got queen cells. I think it'll work out okay. I've got to do something. Otherwise, if they haven't swarmed already, they're going to swarm. And maybe we can get a couple of nice splits out of it. Basically a couple of two frame splits, so to speak. Two frames of brood in here. I expect some of these bees to fly back if they're foragers to this hive. And then, of course, the bees coming in from foraging will come in here, too. So it should have plenty of bees. And uh, this time of the year, with all the stuff that's starting to bloom, they should be in good shape. Well, I'm down here in Slocum. I just finished up. I think we had five or six where I did not see the queen. Wasn't 100% sure uh, if they were queenless or not. Some of them I didn't see any eggs in. And so maybe there was no queen. But a lot of those had a lot of bees in them. And they had a space cleared out. Uh, where it looked like a queen might be.
be about to start laying. So I didn't give up hope on them. Most of those, I took a frame with some eggs, new larva, brood, etc., in case they need to make an emergency queen. Uh, so we'll just kind of leave them alone and see what happens. Some of them are about to be just exploding with bees and we'll have to go in a bigger hive soon. And don't forget the giveaway coming up probably in the next week or so when we hit 10,000 subscribers. I'm pretty excited about this. I appreciate everyone who watches the channel. We're going to give away this Laura Bees Oxalic Acid Vaporizer. Uh, just use mine to treat these nukes out here and they, it just works really well. Well pleased with the results of the splits. I don't think we have 100% take, but mixing and matching the frames around, we're going to be pretty close. All right, that's enough for now. Y'all take care and be safe.